All righty. Well, you're ready to move on, so let's do that. Um, in red here, it says banner practice, independent work time. Grab your pencil, eraser, and sketchbook or drawing paper. You're going to be practicing creating your banner. But before we do so, we do uh, want you to review the rubric. So let's do that. Let's see what we're being assessed on with these two drawings, one of the portrait with a banner, one with the feature up close in a banner. So let's just see where we're getting our points. Okay, so the Tracy Moffat portraits with banner message. 10 points. Um, you want to make sure that you follow general face proportion rules that we practiced previously. You also want to make sure that um, you are making sure the features are going where they should go. It should look as realistic as possible. Although this is our first time flexing these skills that we are learning, um, you're going to be assessed on your proportions and uh, locating where the features should go. So 10 points. 10 points for neatness. So no unwanted marks, no fingerprints, no scratchy shading. You want to make sure that is done smoothly. If you are adding color, add color nicely and neatly. If you are going to be using any pen or ink, uh, make sure you start in pencil first to avoid any permanent mistakes. 10 points for risk. Five points if your ribbon banner and the human feature portrait have been integrated together. So the banner on the portrait of the face needs to make sense with that portrait. Like you shouldn't have it like covering the whole face, right? You shouldn't have it like off in the corner, not making sense. Wherever you decide the banner goes needs to be an artistic design decision. Wherever you decide the banner goes with your zoomed in feature drawing should also be an artistic, thoughtful decision. Five points if you capture close detail. 10 points in artistry section. So you get five points if the message included on the banner is something that brings awareness to negative actions or words, or it's a message on the banner that shows kindness, care, and compassion towards others. So what you choose to write on the banner in both of your art projects, it needs to fit these uh, parameters to get five points. Five more points if you use the entire space of your paper and there's no big empty gaps. So there's a quick review of the rubric. Now let's practice making some banners. This video tutorial is going to run you through a multitude of banners, okay? I want you to pick 10 banners to try recreating on your own paper. Some of these banners should be simple, difficult. I do want you to get a good practice in with um, a variety of skill level banners. It's gonna go quick. Okay, so you may need to pause, you may want to fast forward, pick some different banner designs you're interested in, but you need 10. After you've created 10 of those banners, take a picture of your artwork, and I want you to insert the photo in this box here. All right, that's your job for this page. Good luck, take your time, work in pencil. If you need any help or have questions, please let me know.